Hey everyone, King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install a modem on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. So, first of all, to check which modem you're running, go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, about device, and under baseband version, the last three digits, the last uh, three, you'll see LG8. Um, is what I am on now. That's the modem I'm running, LG8, which is actually the latest modem, um, the latest of the over-the-air updates. There's actually four modems at the moment, at the time of this video, it could be updated in the future. LEN, LF9, LG2, and LG8 uh, are the four modems at the moment. LG8 was the latest, not necessarily the best. Um, what a modem does, it affects basically the radios of the device, so it could potentially affect signal strength, it could also affect 3G speeds, and potentially 4G speeds as well, um, and I mean potentially GPS as well, so I haven't had GPS issues at all, so I mean not really GPS, but mainly signal strength and 3G are the two that modems can affect. Um, it, it's best to do some real-world performance if you're not if you're in a certain area and you don't get certain bars or you get terrible reception. Try flashing a different modem and then go to that area and see if it's any better. That's a good way to test it out. You can also try doing speed tests of different ones. Um, so I mean, it's really up to you. But anyways, let's go ahead and and flash a different modem. So I'm on LG8 right now. I can flash a different one now. What you need to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Doing so will take you to this site. First of all, huge shout out to Clark44 for putting this together for us. Be sure to thank him. This is actually awesome. You're really going to be impressed by this. But shout out to Clark44. Um, you'll see Team Sonic uh, modem flasher for all. Scroll, scroll down, keep scrolling down. And under downloads, you're going to need to download the file right here. Modem flasher. Uh, you can click on either of these links and it will download the file for you. It'll be a zip file. Transfer that zip file over to your device. You are going to need to make sure you do have a custom recovery, clockwork mod or twerp recovery. Um, so transfer it on over to your device. Once transferred over, go back to your phone. All right, and once we are back to our phone and that zip file is on our device, go ahead and go into your custom recovery. So go ahead and hit recovery, hit okay. Uh, if you're on a ROM running it, if not, you can do it manually. Power off the device, press and hold up, volume up home button and power button all at the same time until the Samsung screen lights up, let go. It'll take you to your custom recovery. Anyways, I have twerp recovery, so either one, clockwork mod or twerp, will work just fine. All right, so you'll see Team Win Recovery. Now, to install this ROM, install this ROM, install a modem, it's actually really easy. Um, I'm really impressed with this modem flasher tool. Just go to install, and then either use internal storage, use external storage, or if you're on in clockwork mod, go to install zip uh, from SD card, choose zip from SD card or internal SD card, and then go ahead and find that uh, basically modem flasher uh, zip, select it, come on. There. So you select that modem flasher zip and that's it. Swipe to confirm flash and then it should open up a new installer actually. It's called the Aroma Installer. You'll see Sonic Team. And then it loads this up. So um, it looks like uh, please choose the theme you want to continue for the Aroma Installer. So it looks like you have some theming options which is very interesting. Let's go ahead and load this up. All right, so it was really bright, and it was it's a strange screen, so I had to change the lighting. Hopefully, you guys can see it. I can see it just fine now on the screen, which is much better. So, I mean, you have a bunch of different, you have theme options for the installer. This really does not matter. You can do any of them. I can do ICS theme. That's what I'm going to do. Hit next, and now it says welcome. You're about to use the modem installer. Um, press next to continue. I'm going to hit next again, and here we go. So now, which modem do you want to install? They're in order. The first one was LEN, next one was LF9, next one was LG2, and last one was LG8. So it's really up to you which one you want to install. I'm going to go ahead and install LF9 just for fun. It's just the one I selected. I haven't tested these out myself, so I'm going to have to do so, I guess, and then figure out which one I like the best. Each phone handles each modem differently. Keep that in mind. Not all phones are going to um, necessarily work best. Some work better on others. So just kind of keep that in mind. Anyways, LF9, go ahead and hit next and it says ready to install. So hit next, and there we go. And it should start the install process of this LF9 modem. So flashing successful. It says please press the next button. So hit next once done. Reboot your device now. Hit finish, and it should automatically reboot your device. You'll see it's going into twerp recovery, but now it's going to automatically 
reboot our Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. This is only for the Sprint variant. Um, these modems are only going to work on the Sprint variant. But there you have it. So, I'm going to let this boot up and then show you guys I'm now on the LF9 modem. Alright, phone's booted back up. I'm going to go ahead and go into settings again, about device, and under about, it says finalizing Android update, you can let it uh, do that if you'd like to. Android update successful. About device, you will see baseband version LF9 at the end, those last three digits. It's now on LF9, so you know it has worked properly, and there we have it. Um, so, I mean, definitely something you're going to want to mess around with. It is a little time consuming because it takes a little bit of time to flash the modems and test them out appropriately. So, just kind of keep that in mind. It, it's, it's definitely something that could help you out if you're having poor signal in certain areas and whatnot. So, it's really great that we have this installer to make everything so much easier. So, there you have it. Again, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this tool. I think it's amazing. So, be sure to let me know. Leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.